Mm. Jag så har det alltid varit. Men jag måste få fråga. Alltså, är du kurd? Ja. Kan jag vara kurd? Om du är i Kurdistan och, och du känner dig att du är kurd, självklart. Att varför jag skulle inte? bli fullt accepterad av, ja. av andra kurder. Det kurd tror jag som. faktiskt. Ja, ja, det är jättebra det, att höra. Det, för att det, det, det är du tror det inte man, det? det är nej, jag, tror faktiskt, jag tror faktiskt inte att du är ärlig. Det är möjligt att du ja. ser det så. Men jag, ja. tror, jag tror att de flesta kurder skulle inte betrakta mig som kurd. Även om jag flyttar till Kurdistan. Vad är, vad är poängen med det? All right, so we just seen a short clip of a debate between Amina Kakabave and Jimmy Okerson. Now, these two persons are completely on two different sides politically. Jimmy Okerson is the party leader of Sverige Demokraterna, which is translated as Sweden Democrats. Going back 15 years ago, the party was not even in the parliament, but has in recent years increased in votes and is now, according to some polls, Sweden's largest party. Sweden Democrat has, through the years, made themselves known for debating the migration question, which in Sweden for a long time has been a sensitive question. While other opposing them claims that Sweden Democrats are racists, the party itself claims the opposite and call themselves an immigrant critical party. Today, we're going to answer the statement that Amina Kakabave made to Jimmy Okerson. Would Jimmy really be accepted in Kurdistan among the Kurdish people as a Kurd? My answer to that question is yes, Jimmy can be Kurdish, and I'm going to show everyone in this video why Jimmy could be Kurdish. But before we go into that, there is one thing that I have to explain. This is Kurdistan. For this video, we can only talk about Jimmy's chances of becoming Kurdish when looking at a society which is controlled by the Kurds. This leaves Bakur and Rojalat out of the picture, and this video will therefore focus on can Jimmy Okerson become a Kurd in Rojava and Bashur, which is Syrian and Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. So, what is most important when becoming a citizen in another country? The first step would be to learn the language. The second would be to get a job, and the third would be to get along with Kurdish culture and Kurdish values. If Yimi would complete all these steps, I'm sure that the Kurdish people would consider him Kurdish. Let's start with Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan, also known as Bashur. <laughs> In recent years of Bashur, the amount of people coming from other countries have increased. Now, we have three main groups who've arrived in Bashur for different reasons. The first is the people from the West, which in recent times have found out that Bashur is a way different world than Iraq, and actually a nice place to visit as a tourist. I will link several vlogs in the description box below, which I found enjoyable. Be sure to check them out. Now, this first group of people coming to Kurdistan is from everywhere in the West. It can be Americans, Britons, Swedish people, people from France, from Spain, actually any country in the West. Now, the second group is refugees from the recent war against ISIS. Many of these people are Arabs from Syria or Iraq. Now, the third and last group are mainly of Indians, Nepalians and people from the Philippines. These people actually live permanently in Kurdistan originally as sheep labor and we're going to check out how their life in Kurdistan looks. 
All right, so we have this Kurdish TV show with four guests. The first one right here is originally from Bangladesh. We have the second guest from India and the third guest, which is Arabic from Iraq. Now, a fourth guest, an American, will show up in a minute. The common thing with all these guests are that they are from different countries, but have come to Kurdistan, settled here and now speaks Kurdish. Let's look at their experiences, whether they feel like Kurdish or not. باشا <laughs> 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 ايش ممكن دي الله لا بازار و لا بازار جلنجر جا اسامه بمبله ايوا لا كردستان كي كم جار هاتي تشتي بو تو زور خوش بو تشتي بو تو زور نا خوش بو يعني بيقومان كاشي تهر شونك هندك شت هي هر بدلي تونيه هندك شت شي زور بدلي تو تشين او شتاني كي مثلا يان عزيت داكن تشين اواني كي زور دل خوش داكن والله عزيتك اي زور من ديتي اشكا وش بدين هاتي مو يكسل لا برادر كان اوانا كا بيشتر كردينم دزاني او بيمنا خوش بو انا مكات خصده كر زحمت بو لا من زحمت بو قلت من ده في فير بو بس كاتي فير بو منا اسا زو برادر كان كردن زو تكلاوي ولا جمال انا ايش دسم مالي جماعات شو انا هم جماعات خوما هر بجي اه لو كردك هو زور باشا فرم خلنا طاو كردان هش سال كم باشا اگر مولای امبارزانا کبا لکاک دولال بفرسم کاک دولال پمبله چشتی کی کردستان بو تو ناخوشه ولا ناخوشی بس ما چی بیله بو زور خوشه یعنی دو حتا 2017 تا 2014 زور خوشه یعنی اما دو سال بخو سه سال بو زور ناخوشه ای تو عین مشکل قیرانی داره وین یت خو سو اس وی کین سی دی اول سپیک ویری گود کردیش سم هاز بین ان کردستان فور فیور ییرز اند ایت از نیشنال دت دیر Kurdish still needs some practice, but we can all hear that they love living in Kurdistan, they are being taken care of, and have overall a good experience. Now, we're gonna listen more to what they have to say, but let's go on to the American guest first. Miwani, Chwara Man Yektus Tahirbu, Balam Zorzor Baherbe, Kaka Sam Tomasa, Kak Sam Zawai Homana. 
لبر وای کچی کی کردی آن در جوانی بردو آب را گذاشت آمریکا همو آمریکا و اروپا بگر کچی کی تری واید از نکه و راست است؟ آر و لواه. پاش که میکی کف تانالم که وقت جوانا بالام باغ با خوی سلامت لبی نرانی نتیفی بکافرمو. سلام. زور آمریکایی هم سلام چاره مکر شیل هم که تام باج من سام و زور آمریکایی هم سلام های سام گان زور زور با خیر بی خوش حال چند سال ال کردستانی حالیا اما حاتم سال ما حاتم سال تا بس یکم جا دو زارون و هاتم ما و با شش من ما و کی شش من پن بلای چی رو کی حاصلی کردنی تو لگال کچی کی کرد چند بو شیروکه که ولی توزه دور دریجه من دو زار نو دست بکرد جیله خوی تلبایی من بوده جامعه جامعه است. والا یعنی تو ماموسای آو بی. بله ماموسای دیزی. با چپلا با خیرات نی جیله خان که جیله خان اگر هاو کارانم و نکی ور بگرند یکی کلا و خان ما راجع اندن کار و چاله که اکتیوانه که چی شانه زیه ماشاءالله زور شیری میشی همون جاره آگا مال نیه که بله. دوای او برنامه هد اوتم شش مانگه دس مان او دوای بنگیزی گرم او با تکساس و دوای دا دس مان پکت با کسکر نو او دوای کی بو هاتم زستانی دو زارو نو آه دوای چوار مان هاتم او با اسلامانی شن بلای باوکی دوای دکردم والا او نه آزادی یک سر لر چوار مان رو پیوان یکرتان اه جیله هشت ل جامعه بو، یعنی تهروج نبود دوکاتا، باوکی وقتی توزه با چهاره کنی، بزاین چیه به که تهروج بو، در چهاره من کرد، دو سال دوایا، هات ما بویره، و زواج من. اربشی جیله گم با توزه کیش به ملای تو، با خیر بی. زار خوش حالم که امروز خودتو هم سرکت لیرن کسی که جوانی لیبر دوین بالام دل خوشم لبر وی رنگ یکی قبل او کارانی و کوپیا و کردنای و بیرکات آنها که رجع به عفرت کنی آنها لکاری که خویان حزین لیبر دام کن و کو کلتر و کو طبیعت خلقی کردستان چی بوده آشنا نبود پیت نخوش بیان هست کرد و پیست بگرد رت لهم روی کوا لهم روی کوا والی اشتباه تک نه ایتام اشکم ما از خوش اسما شتکتی لکو تای پروگرام آپ مام بلی مزور زور خوش حالم تو امر لیره بی سپاس مش خوزور خوش حالم لیره مرتاحی جوازی نه کنده نیوان عربو کرد لکاتی اشتباه نه 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 اما زور دید اگر برادر کنم همو کردم کن برادر کنی که اوسما ایوان آوانه زور بخیر من سر هر دوچه آوانه سر وازی نمی نه نه وو هشت ساله یعنی زور برادر کامی آن فیت کردیا کردیا و زور لگریان دست نوهات نو داره کلا مالیان شجیام ما و چی ک و از عکم خرابو آفرین دستان خوش نمونه تان زیاد لیه ما یعنی هوشی به حساب که و لگریان برای چی نوهاتیا آ اوزا مرتاحی مرتاح نه تو بچ روی تو نه زاره نه زاره نه سامی تو تو بسیارش ای که کافی کی تو پن بله اتهش تیک بله ایل کردستان مرتاحی همونشت باشه نه ولی جور باشه کردستان هلا اتهی برای تو ولاتی خود با هندستان نه من نارو ممکن ده سال نارو هم ای خامو هیش کرد خامو هیش هیچ مشکل هیچ مشکل نیه که از سوانی لیره بی ای تو که کدولان نه ولی بایش مشکل من نیه بخو من بایش مشکل نیه بس اتهی برای تو بنگلادش یانه تر لکرد زاره هاتم بودو مانگو نیو هاتم بود تازه هاتم بود از زاره روشتم بود هاتم مشکل من نیه سب و خم. اتی بی بی بازاری کردستانی. بله 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 هر وها کم تازور آشنایتان لگال خاتو مهناز هرانی خالکی ایران و فارسا بلام 
با اصلی اگر بگرین او با پشتال پشت با پیری کی کرده علی بلام گرنگ اوی کردی نزنی و استل کردستان فری کردی و با خیر بی من سوکی خان با خیر بی سر چاوان خوش بی سلامت بی اوی سو جیرین اوانم همیشه رخصار یعن کوریا او که اوی که همیشه دم بخندن بلام او امرو تنها با کردی قصنا که جلی کردی شی لبر کرده سیر کن سوکی خان چند سال ل کردستانی؟ آه ما تقریبا چهار سال نیو. چهار سال نیو. چون خلیه اوت ها بو فری زمانی کردی بوی. خلیه من ایتیا ببورا. یعنی چون حذت کرد فری زمانی کردی بی. آه چون که من کردستان زور خوش دم و دبرا و یا. آه هر بچه. بله. دو هزار شش در برای کردستان یک کم زرگی بستیم او کاتا دار. لکه. لا أمريكا، لا أمريكا بوم، باو كاتا دا تيرو كي كردستان زور كاري تكردم، شون كا بازار هاتي كردستان زور نزيكا لاند تهوي كيمون. باشه. کم تیرو که درباره بابت سیاسی کان، انفال حالا بچه آن علی. انفال و همو اب امش تقریبا سیوش هشت سال دلایان یابانی و دستگیر کرد. دست بسر کرد. آه دست بکر. بله. بله. آقای دادار او تیرو کی واقو امش واقو پش مارگا با با پیرو با پیرا کم من زور زور شریان کرد. آو کاتا دار. آو تیرو کی آو شخصی زور نزیکا. بله. او کد د دوایی دو هزار هشت و افزانم در فتیم ها بو روش تیم بو آوا حل ل سوریا آوا شهری کرد آوانیا بله کرلا کردن زور خوشوار نی خویال در فتیم ها بو سری یا زمان خیلی بیکا آو کد د لجاده لانکاو لانکاو کرد کرد دکانم کرد دکانم بینی هشتم او او بانگش انجامید، بانگش انجامید، او کاتا دار شاو یک، شاو یک، با درجای شاو همونی همونی کسی منجامید، ولی او زور زور سیر بو، من هیچ کردیش نمدازنی او کاتا دار، او آنیش انگلیسیان ندازنی، ولی شاو همونی کسی منجامید، حتی آبیانی، باشه، باشه، او موتی نگر، همونش دک، همونش دک. بلام او او که دادم من تگیشتم او باس پیوان دکریدن باس بازمان آوانیا با دللا وایا او که پیوان دکریدن بازمان نیا با دللا وایا آه هاوس رکت آه جی او جی لگا آه انجلینا انجلینا ما شاء الله ده به هر سیکی انجلی کردیم پوشی و هم نه ایوش کسای کم باشه دست خوش خانم کی جوان خانمانی هندستان همیشه به جوان به نابانگن چونی نیل ما خان باشی جان باشی سپاس تو در کردستان چند ساله کار دکی؟ تقریبا شست ساله ایشی چیه که در کردستان؟ ایشی سالون چی در کردستان سرنجی توی را کشا که تگ یکم جار بلیتد بریوتد اچم با کردستان چی احاته بر چاوی تو؟ یعنی چی فکر کرد؟ بس همو گویی خوش ایرا کردستان زور خوشه تو هاتو او براستی زور خوشه ما هات زور زور خوشه انشالله زور زور برادر هی ای من ایرا زور خوش دی و یعنی همو برادر کانت خوشه استاش ارتشنا لای مهنازی جوان مهناز گام با خیر بیس ممنون گالک گالک سپاس بود من از جاری یکم من تو برنامه من بیک و کرد کردی که زور خراب بو آه لبیرم مترجم لکن ما بو ونیا استم خیاتو مترجمی نه ای پنبله چی وایل مهناز کرد لکردوسان به من اتا؟ امن گالیک خون به کرد دزانم. یا دلیرب سادگی خالق. سادگی خالق. که دلیان گالیک باشه، دلیان گالیک ساده یا یک کمی چشته که من همون جار اگه یک روز انشالله سه سال دلیرب بمینم باز کردوسان به جیب هیلم دلی باشی خالقی کردستانه که من گالیک هجی آب دکم. کردیش که فربوم خو امن هجیم دکرد لگالی خرق برادراتی بکم قصه بکم او گالک زحمت بو بجم بس گالک سپاسی بس تو زمانی مثلا کردی لگال فارس لگال هنده گوشه ها بشمان لگال زمانی عربی هی با تو رنگ آسان تر بیوه که لو سوکی خان و نیل ما خان تاکید 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 یعنی بحثا با کردی قصان 
لصالون او قشتيان كردي والله صالون يعني اه فيلو تشتكي تاع بزياتر يخوما ليلى تو بين بلاتون جاركي كاكا بروغرام انكر وتت نيوي من امريكا نيوم افريقيا نيوشم كردا استا اه بالي من سي دولتم افرم اهيك الى يكدا يكش تاع دوري يكدا يبون يكشيان لنا وغوربون يكشيان لنا وجامبون است من سی دولت مه با هر سی کیشان ازی اکمو زورش مخوشه. بوی رنگ کشم آهای نیوی آمریکایی، نیوی ساوس آفریکایی، نیوی کردستانی تا آوسی تیکلاو بو آو رنگه برونزی درچو. ت تو گل کشته. بو به چند سال کردستانی؟ آواش شش سال. شش سال بله خوش آنات ابریتا نه کیو آروم ولاتی مونه ولاتی خم چیو آرو اوی دل اتو کردنی راز دیپورتی دکم آه آوا راست لیلا تو دست لگل کیه کی دیپورت که چون اتوانی دستم لگل کس نیه دستم لگر خواه او دولتی خو مال دایک بو مالی را چون بیشتی وا نه 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 پروسیار بکن علا کتابی کن بون OK خیلی کی چند درم موسيقى <laughs> 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 नमस्कार तो बर्थ सारे जल्ले सार तो ना कौन देखे बेरी बड़े नमस्ते अन्ना बर्नो क्या का नमस्ते सार में सर चाव सर चाव क्या का नमस्ते आजानी नमस्ते नमस्कार आप पर हैं ना उसे है तो हाँ अज़ादीन सोन अज़ादीन 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 अब खुनी बात सही है बात हम आना चाहिए वो हम यू कोला ना हने मोबाइल कोला हने बाय चना वो कोला का अब तो बहाजार बहाजार वो क्या का बहाजार संदर्भ ना जाने दो सौ पंचा वो दो छोबा जोर भी आने का ना ना वो नमस्ते ने नमस्ते हने नमस्कार आजुल लाई नमस्कार आराम उन्नत है एकदम आराम से ये पिता� 
It goes everywhere. We walked by this place and literally Nate just walked in and the guy handed him one. We haven't asked what it's called, how much it costs. But everyone's super nice in here. Can I pay you? I literally have sticky syrup on my shoe, on my pants. It's just, it's gone everywhere. Those guys were so nice. I, I tried to pay for it and they wouldn't let me. Seriously, all morning, as we've been like walking around for the past hour, the people here have been so incredibly nice. We've had people go out of their way. Like, I think they're just curious. We obviously stick out like a sore thumb. We've had people just go out of their way to walk by and say hello. Like, they'll pass us once and then realize that we don't belong, and they'll make another circle just so they can walk by and like wave at us, and it's so nice. And about five seconds before we walked into that bakery, we walked by a street vendor, you know, the kind that normally annoy you and try to get you to come buy something. He tried to give me a pair of his sunglasses that he was selling. And then he just wanted a picture. <laughs> Who does that? The people. Oh. This, this is how big they're supposed to turn out. And this is how big mine turned out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be forced to eat this one. Boss. No, 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 no. Okay. Money, no money. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> you Goodbye. Goodbye. We just wandered by this bakery. <laughs> they invited us inside, gave us free food, wouldn't take money, and what? even let Nate bake a little bit. But well, we've taken a lot of pictures with a lot of people. <laughs> Everybody is very curious and very, very friendly. What is your name? Good friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone here is so nice. So I would say in the square, it's probably like 80% men to women, and all of the old men in the square have these these beads and we were trying to ask them what they were because they spoke a little bit of English and then they just pulled theirs out of their pocket and gave them to us and would not take them back. Immediately like we were like the bees and they both went oh and handed them to us. <laughs> and like, I will always remember gosh. the kindness that we encountered here. So sweet. Photograph. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so for the next thing we have an artist from Ethiopia who currently lives in Kurdistan. She released a song around 2012 where she expressed her feelings in fluent Kurdish. Let's listen. Now, the next video is from a channel named Move One Relo. We will provide links to the channel and its videos in a description box below. So be sure to check Thanks that out. Talking. I went to my neighbor's houses and I gave them food, sweets, and I tried to talk to them. In the beginning, it was difficult because I had like zero Kurdish. That you need to have something serious that you are doing here and that you want to do here. You should not just come here for... Uh, you need to have something to do. You need to have something serious to preoccupy yourself and your time with because otherwise you're going to go crazy. I would say all expats should feel welcome to come to Kurdistan. Please come and assist in developing the country and exploring this new culture. Well, it's nothing similar to what we heard before. So, in that regard, you know, you have to, you have to um, open your mind and uh, maybe put in a little bit more effort than what, would you, what you would do if you're learning French or German or some other language. But it's also exciting at the same time. But I do recommend that uh, if you have the opportunity or if you're one of those people that learns languages easily to to learn the language because it opens new doors for you. Um, for example, whenever you're going to meet with ministries or with the Kurdish intelligence or anything like if you have an issue with the police, whatever, you get a different level of respect out of them whenever you speak the local languages. And, and people love that when they, they, you go to a home and you say, 
greetings and speak in Kurdish. They respect that and they love you for that. It's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, but it's, it's nice, the feeling is nice because you feel part of the, of the society, you are not foreign anymore. So I encourage everyone uh, to, to learn basic and that show respect to, to the people and you, you, get, you closer get closer to them. To. I like the teachers and the school is like good. I like how there's different people from different places and you can like discuss with them how like Erbil is and where they're from and like how where like their from is like good. Well, the teachers are really nice and my friends are fun. Um, I like it that um, we don't have too many tasks, but we have like just enough. And uh, like they don't give too much homework, so we won't have to be online. But they give enough, so we learn what we did yesterday. What surprised me is how pleasant people are. Okay. Yes. Uh, the second thing is um, okay. I, I did not expect uh, to see civilized. I mean, not civilized, but in terms of the Western world, to, to see exactly the copy of the Western world here. No, I didn't expect that. It was mainly the, the, the people, the culture, and uh, how well I fitted into this community. Kurdish people are just so nice. So hospitable. Yes, they're so friendly. Uh, they always want to help to make you feel like you're at home. Uh, the Kurdish people here, the Syrians, the Arabic people here, everybody's really nice. And uh, they're really welcoming to the, to the expats that come in versus, you know, other places in Iraq where they're not so welcoming. Hey guys, this is Ava and today I am in Suleymania, also known as Suli. This is the capital of culture in all of Kurdistan. So imagine, this gentleman just walked up to me out of nowhere and gave me some things. How sweet is that? That was just the beginning of all that famous Kurdish hospitality. Suli is a nice city with a very cool atmosphere, but what makes it special in my eyes is how welcome you feel here as a traveler. People seem genuinely happy to welcome foreigners into their hometown anywhere you go. And we've got this apple. Also, as a gift. What is going on? <laughs> but there's another side to Suli that's not really known to visitors. My local friends wanted to show me something that happens kind of behind the scenes. This is not your typical bazaar, and this road sign is also a sign of things to come. There's a really cool place here in Suli that I was told about by the locals, and this is a place I had not expected to find in Iraqi Kurdistan for sure. See, this is a street food market for Indian and Nepali food. There are a lot of Nepali and Indian and Filipino workers here, and every Friday they get off, and this is when they can come here to this street and have some of their own local food from back home. This place is so cool, so, so cool. Let me show you around. There are tens of thousands of foreign workers in Iraqi Kurdistan, many of them working on construction sites and in local houses. It's never an easy life to be so far away in a foreign country, away from your family. So this market feels like it provides a slice of home to an entire community. Here, chefs at makeshift stalls prepare all sorts of deliciousness from Filipino to Indonesian to Indian snacks. You might think that all these flavors only attract the expat population. Well, you'd be wrong to think so. Kurdish locals come here too to find some of the most authentic food from all around Asia. I just loved being here to see a side of Kurdistan that's rarely talked about and to see how these people connect back to their roots and share those roots with the locals through the universal language of food. In one of the side alleys of the bazaar, I noticed a tiny hole in the wall carpentry shop and its owner invited me right in. <laughs> Come here, sit down. Yeah. I got a chair, I got a seat in this shop. You make it. This gentleman here makes all these baby pots. This shop is 100 years yes, old. Yes, yes. My father. This, this, this. <laughs> oh, okay. This, no, 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 no. 
Excellent. What candy you had to say, Halas? Enough? Thank you. <laughs> and towards the end of the day, in the evening, families and friends gather here on the main square of Erbil, drink tea and juice. Simply enjoy. Now, I think a lot of people don't quite know about this side of Iraq or Kurdistan or Iraqi Kurdistan. In fact, I think a lot of people don't even know that you can come to Iraqi Kurdistan. But this is such an incredible region, right? <laughs> it's a great region. <laughs> people are really, really friendly and I highly recommend that you visit. Oh, Ava! Oh, look, he remembers my name! Hello, how are you? I was speaking to these gents yesterday. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good morning, <laughs> see, Iraqi Kurdistan, come here and see you in the next vlog. <laughs> this is Kurdistan. If you like food, hiking, or hospitality, this is the place where to be. <laughs> Kurdistan is a land of peace for all people. We are multi ethnic, multi religious, and multilingual. What I'm loving so much about Kurdistan is that they treat everyone with respect and equality. Every religion here, whether it's big or small, has their own representative in the Kurdistan government. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, Zoroastrian, mm. and Yazidi. Heloisa, a sharpshooter and paramedic from Brazil, is the only woman in the bunker. She's fought on a number of fronts already. She says she's found a new home in Kurdistan. You are too thin. We get you some powder milk also to have in the night. Heloisa says she identifies fully with the Peshmerga struggle. So we Peshmerga need support, international support, from all the corners. We together need to fight against terrorism. <laughs> we are now done with Bashur and we'll go to the Society of Rojava. Firstly, the Society of Rojava is a newly formed one, so there is not much of materials from this. But let's just go on and watch how the life is at Rojava. The first thing we're gonna look at is page 199 in Joachim Medin's book Kobani. Now this book is in Swedish, so if you don't understand Swedish, you can turn on subtitles in the video player settings. Kevin eller kamrat Sirek från ett kustsamhälle söder om Oslo var den första västerländska fältsjukvårdaren att jobba i YPGs ambulanser i kantonen Kobani. All right, so this is one quote from the book, but let's jump over to page 201 in the book. Jordan Matson var 28 år gammal och kom från Wisconsin. Han hade varit på plats i Jazeera i mindre än två veckor och krigade nära staden Jaza i ett område vid gränsen till Irak som då sett intensiva strider mot IS. Jordan Matson dök upp i en intervju hos lokala Ronahi TV och presenterade sig med sitt namn Kamrat Sardar. Han berättade om sin bakgrund som soldat i den amerikanska armén och om hur väl han mottagits. To understand the Rojava community completely, we must understand what's driving the community. The society of Rojava has the thoughts of imprisoned PKK leader Abdullah Öcalan as its role model. The ideology of democratic confederalism is what Rojava rules under. So one good way to know if Yimi Okeson would be welcomed in Rojava is to look at this ideology and the foundations of it. Let's read from Abdullah Öcalan's own book called the Political Thoughts of Abdullah Öcalan, page 39. Democratic confederalism is open towards other political groups and factions. 
It is flexible, multicultural, anti-monopolistic, and consensus-orientated. Ecology and feminism are central pillars. This clearly means that not only could Jimmy Oxon come to Rojava and become a Kurdish citizen, but he could even bring his Swedish culture and practice it in Rojava, keep his culture, since the ideas of democratic confederalism is multicultural. So, the society of Rojava is working hard to make the outsiders coming to the Rojava society to feel as much at home as possible. One way of doing this is just as mentioned in the book of Medin to give them their own Kurdish names. And this is a perfect example of how people who originally aren't Kurdish can become one with the Kurdish people. A group of dedicated Kiwis. I'm 24 years old from Christchurch, New Zealand, where I've lived my whole life. My Kurdish name is Shoish, means revolution. This Kiwi was also inspired to join the cause for slightly different reasons. This is the first time Ashley has talked publicly about her experience in Syria. And like him, she's careful not to reveal her full identity. Were you known as Ashley over there? No, my name was Shinda Kamishlo. Passion you came for. Oh, yeah, are, are. no shine, no bash. <laughs> Runa Hawan, Runa, Runa Rose Bash, Runa Bash, Runa Runa Bash, Runa Show Bash. Rose Bash. America? Zoom, tum, 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 tum. Oh, bashy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Some foreign fighters joined the YPG not only to fight IS, but to support what they say is the multi-ethnic model of coexistence in the Kurdish-held areas known as Rojava. Volunteer Robert is from France. And I came in Rojava to be uh, with uh, my Kurdish Kurdistan is at the moment not a self-ruling independent country, which means that the citizens of Kurdistan, at least in the Kurdistan region, have Iraqi passports. Imagine that Kurdistan would be independent, that there would be Kurdish passports and Kurdish citizenships. What would the requirements be? Wouldn't the Kurdish people see you as Kurdish when you stand there with your Kurdish passport in your hand, regardless if you're American, Swedish, Chinese or Arab? If the Kurdish people brings in other people now, how would it look when they are independent? For me, the answer is obvious. So, the conclusion of this video is that the Kurdish people is a very caring people that tend to invite everyone to their comfort zone. After seeing all of these clips and videos, is it hard to imagine that Yimi wouldn't be able to become Kurdish if he went to Kurdistan, learned the Kurdish language and culture and got himself a job and a family there. What's your opinion about this? Let us know in the description box below and as always don't forget to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.